Hi guys, it's Nat here. So I haven't been on to do any crafting for a couple of days. And I thought I'd better get started on this again. Now this is the folder I made out of a writing set box. Um, and I want to make a little journal to put on the inside of it in the same theme. Also, I had promised a while back to use pianola paper in a journal and show what I did with the rest of the roll after I made the envelopes out of the start of it. So I want to use a lot of pianola paper in this project as well, which I already have on the cover. Looks awesome with the browns and the birdie theme. So I used some there as well. So I'm going to continue on with that. And as you can see, I grabbed another one of my hanging file folders. Um, you'll get sick of seeing those. Still got a few hundred to go through. So <laughs> they do make great, quick and easy little soft covers. So I am going to cover that somewhat in my pianola paper. I think that will look nice. And I might sneeze, excuse me if I do. I can feel it coming on. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. As soon as the sunny weather came, so did the hay fever. And it's very embarrassing. Because everyone thinks you're sick and you shouldn't be near them because your nose is running all the time and you're sneezing all the time. But it is just hay fever. Now, I just want to see what this says. Each quaint, simple story when memory strays. Days back to nursery days. I was just, yeah, if it said anything about flying or birds or something, then I'd like to have that on there, but I don't necessarily need it on there if it doesn't. So I'm just thinking which way I want the lines to go. Oh, I hate this stuff. <laughs> Say that every time. I mean, I could. It's almost enough to do the back and the front. Whip-wise here, so I might just roughly cut some off and then we'll tidy it up to fit. don't think I'm going to fold it around either. I think I'd be better off cutting it individually, sticking some on the front, sticking some on the back, because I'll probably use some calico to reinforce the spine, I reckon, because that will be in keeping either calico or other linen, because I've got some on the front of the box here too, so that'll look nice. I'll just move my box out of the way, because I don't want to get anything on that. I'm thinking of adhering it with my matte medium. lid on the light, cut down the next piece.
So next I want to start embellishing my cover. First of all, I would like to ink before I forget. So I've just got my walnuts down here. I'm just gonna go around the edges. cover the spine part so I've got just this brown um fabric that I might use because I think that will look rather nice and it will just help make it a little stronger as well I'm just going to fray it a little bit and then I'll just stick that down Next, I have some bits here that I want to play around with. So I've ripped out this bird. I like him because he's got some greens on him which go with the folder underneath the music paper. I have just some craft paper here, butcher's paper, whatever you call that stuff. I have some burlap. It's the same color that I put in the window here. And I have some brown, this brown material that I used on the edge. So I don't know if I'll use it again for this. That doesn't go too bad. It sort of makes it blend in quite nicely. But the idea is something like that. Let me figure out which way I want this. thinking of doing two layers of this just because it's crinkly and scrumptious. And then the bird on top. And then maybe some fibres. What I'll do is ink these bits up and then see what I think because I'm not 100% sure about them. Now, colour-wise, I'm thinking of using my forest moss on this craft coloured paper. Just for something a bit different. I think it'll go nice with the um, bur burlap that I've got. might do is get these two layers down because I'm quite happy with those I think. have all these bits that I pulled out of the burlap to fray it that I was thinking of putting down the bottom of him. So we'll think about that. And I have all my cottons which can be shoved in behind somewhere as well. Just to make it a bit more textural. So I'll think about that. And then, if I can find my little, I've still got some die cuts left from when I did the cover. I don't know if these are any good, so I'll have a look and see if we might like 
one or two of these on there. Yeah, I think that'll look really nice. A little cluster of those somewhere. I'm thinking I might stick something like this down and then we can play around with these afterwards. So, I'll just get this piece down like this first. Almost looks like a bit like a nest, doesn't it? So I sticking this on without getting glue everywhere. It's the hard part. Making sure that they're all held well enough. This will probably take me forever, so let's just ink this one up a bit. might find a word to put up here on something after. That kind of looks nice too, might do that. Darling, what if you fly? I think they were a lavender blue printout. Let's just rip that out and see what I think. Pinola paper. Probably like that out of everything. And I am meant to be using up my pianola paper. So 
So I like that. It does need something up there. Maybe even some lace or something. Trim of some sort. Fluffy trim even. I think I've got some of that here somewhere. This little bag. If I can find an end of it, I'll make an end of it. There. Pretty this, isn't it? I'm just going to cut a bit off. Yeah, they're going to come apart, aren't they? That's right, maybe we should just have that down there anyway. Still think I work on it more. God, fibers everywhere. I was going to say something else, then I should watch myself. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking good so far. I'm liking all the textiles on it, so that's nice. Stick that down a bit. to do something on the inside after. Might even do pianola paper again just because I need to get rid of it. So, but I might glue stick it this time. Right, let's have a look. Probably just cut a similar amount. Do this for a minute. It's really rough, but <laughs> see if it works. <laughs> So I think that'll do. So that's the front of our cover. I said I might add, it needs something up there. So, but that's going to take a bit of thinking and looking around for something. And then we've got the inside and then I'll probably cover that with something because it has bubbled a fair bit. So next time, I think what I possibly did was um, last time I tried that was put it down with your glue stick and then matte medium over the top to seal it. Still bubbles a bit even when I do that so anyway I'll be back on again um, in a few days or something to do a bit more on that take care everyone see you later <laughs>